Coach finally dropped some amazing new pieces for fall, and we're going to unpack them today. Now listen, everyone, I know that this channel has been a little Hermes Birkin-centric. I've got Birkin brain. I am on the cusp of finally purchasing my dream bag, and I'm so freaking excited. However, no amount of the beautiful orange will ever get in front of my love, my, my first true handbag love for Coach. Hey guys, my name's Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content when every Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. If that's something you're into, hit the subscribe button down below and consider joining the membership. Hit the join button below for extra perks, extra access, access to the Discord and other super exciting fun things like custom emojis. I mean, hello. But what are we talking about today? We are diving into some new Coach items. One may upset the Birkin journey because it is literally too good not to buy. <laughs> So I've picked about like six or seven amazing new coach bags for fall 2023. And listen, this isn't the entire list. Like there are more bags coming. We had the fashion show in New York earlier this year and low key, I think everyone's excited for like the banana bag, the heart bag, like all the cute little bags coming. The, the new pieces that I saw recently in boutique were just like too good not to share with you guys. And I've made a list of my top picks and it's fall, fall 2023. What happens in fall? To back to school, right? So with that in mind, I have picked a backpack. Pause for dramatic effect. I know I rarely ever talk about backpacks on this channel. I low-key hate them. I didn't even wear them in school. However, this one, I don't know if it's the color. I don't know if it's the mini signature, which we'll unpack here in a minute. But this bag is too good not to mention, and it was gorgeous in person. This is the Hitch Backpack in the Micro Signature Jacquard Weave. Now, the Hitch Backpack, tons of compartments, padded back. When you think of backpack, like this, this is what I see in, in my mind's eye. It has two really cute compartments on the side, beautiful thick straps, which I think are adjustable, 100. And the interior, it's closed with both a flap, hey, and a drawstring, which, I mean, how much more secure can you get for, for hiking in the wilderness? Would you take a $650 bag backpacking through the wilderness? I mean, I totally would, but I don't know if everyone else would. But it's a vibe, 100. This is lined in their faux suede, like, microfibery fabric, which they've been doing a lot recently. I, I kind of wish they'd get away from it because, you know, microplastics, environment, yada yada. But overall, still super cute, and I'm loving this yellow slash flax combo. It, it's... It's fall 100. It's giving me all... The, do you guys remember 2013 and how we were all like drenched in the color saffron that year? It was like saffron and chambray were like the two colors that everyone was wearing. Pair of statement necklace with it and you had like a, a book 5000. Anyway, this is giving all that energy. When fall comes around, I mean with my color palette, I look really good in saffron shades. So this backpack's a vibe for a backpack. This is super cute. All right, now this next bag is going to pair two of my favorite things when it comes to the world of coach. Number one being... Any guesses? The soft tabby. I have the soft tabby here in denim. It can be worn on the shoulder, top handle, cross body, long shoulder. It is literally the perfect bag. Like if, if you want the Fendi bag out without spending the Fendi bag at price, get a soft tabby. Trust me, it scratched that itch for me. Just sounds like a, a rash problem, but it scratched that, that Fendi bag at itch for a mere fraction of the price. The other thing that I love about Coach, number two, number two, if you've been on this channel for any amount of time, then you all know I have an affinity for the original mini signature. I don't know why, I don't know what it is. This was predominantly for made for factory pieces back in the day, but I love, love, love mini signature. So I'm super excited to see that they're bringing it back in like more of like a fresh take. So much like the new signature, which kind of has that like outline around the C's, the mini signature, or excuse me, micro signature, it's going to take me a minute to get used to that. The new micro signature is much the same. The bag that I've picked is obviously the soft tabby shoulder bag and micro signature jacquard, currently priced at $450. And again, everything I share with you guys today will be linked down in the description. So if you see something you want, I'm working for a Birkin, please, please click the link. This bag, super freaking cute, just like my denim soft tabby from the first denim collection a couple years ago. Can be worn multiple ways, cross body, long shoulder, short shoulder, by the hand, crook of the arm, you name it. There's a beautiful big pocket on the backside, which yes, can fit whatever size big iPhone this is, will fit in the back pocket, I promise you that. I, I love the soft tabby in general, but I think bang for your buck wise, I would get anything in the signature or the denims just because like the way that it collapses and relax, it's, it's so freaking cute and literally the perfect bag for summer. You will not be disappointed and it's perfect in fall, especially in this colorway. Now, speaking of the tabby collection, I may or may not have 
gay gasped when I walked into the boutique over the weekend. Spoiler alert, I did. I did gay gasp. But this bag is 100% a vibe, 100% fire. It is the Tabby Shoulder Bag 26 with braid. Currently priced at $5.50, comes in two colors. I prefer the ivory. You all know I love a good coach white, especially chalk. The burnished amber is really good too. For all of my OG coach collectors, especially during the Reed Krakow era, the 65th anniversary collection, the color whiskey from the Legacy, like the burnished amber is giving whiskey vibes 100, but with an updated air about it. Very, very cute. I love that it has the braided strap. I love all of the braided, almost like whip stitchy. It's giving Western vibes. Like, hey, I live on a ranch and... Colorado. I don't know where they have ranches, but somewhere west. It's giving cute western vibes. Like I just see this with like a big chunky knitted cardigan and like a felt cowboy hat or something. Like I think this bag is such a vibe. It's so freaking cute. Unlike the soft tabby, it's more rigid, very, much more structured. So if you want more of an elevated look, maybe the tabby shoulder bag 26 is for you as opposed to the soft tabby. It does have a couple of different compartments inside, which is going to help you with organization. And of course, a nice big back pocket, which we all low key love, right? <laughs> So these next two items are a little bit on the wild side. And I love when Coach does it with these luxe materials. So they have what is, they're calling the zebra print and I think the leopard print and they're in hair cap, which is 100% a vibe. I, I love a good hair cap moment. And I like how with the bandit shoulder bag, which I've picked in the zebra, priced at 650 BTW, they've thought about how you're gonna wear the bandit, which is going to be predominantly crossbody or on the shoulder. And they've accounted for that. So with hair cap, you want to stay away from a lot of like friction because it's it's going to go bald. And no one, like a bald hair cap bag is not cute. She's not a vibe. So I love that they did the smooth leather on the backside. They're thinking about it, the longevity of the bag. Love that for them. I've always loved the bandit bag. Like not enough though to like actually like buy one myself, but I appreciate them. I think they're super cute. They're giving Hermes Constance vibes with the way that you can wear the shoulder strap. I love the C on the front. Like they're like, in theory, I should I should really want this bag. Like looking at this colorway, like the kind of like the brownish zebra tones. Do you guys remember the Coach Hampton Madeline totes that came with like the little scarf? It's giving that energy and I loved those back then. So maybe this will be the bandit bag for me. I don't know, don't quote me. Fall is all about like luxe materials, feeling cozy, feeling over the top, getting ready for the holidays, which are gonna be here before we know it. And I love that that coach really does animal prints right. I mean, there's their zebra, their leopard, their ocelot. They, they've always had good options as, it, as far as it comes to like exotic animal prints. And I love the rogue top handle in the hair cap with the leopard print. Currently priced at $7.95. I mean, she's pricey, but I mean, this bag is super luxe, super cute. Leather line comes with the leather chain shoulder strap. I mean, what more do you want? And it's a top handle. This is going to look super cute at lunch, super cute at holiday parties. Like just imagine rolling up to Thanksgiving with this bag on your arm. Hello, total vibe. Okay, that's enough with the hair cap. Two more picks and then I'm done because if I look at much more, I'm going to end up ordering something and I'm on the Birkin journey to stay focused, which totally sucks because fall is my favorite season to shop. But let's talk about the soft tabby shoulder bag with braid. We were shopping with a friend on Sunday last weekend. We entered, it was on the front table, I gay gasped, and then I was immediately disappointed. Soft tabby shoulder bag with braid, it should be perfect. It's giving all the Western gives, it's a Vibe 100. However, the shoulder strap, in my opinion, won't work for me. The crossbody strap is kind of like, think about like those tooled leather bags that you can buy at like roadside attractions. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? Like, do you know what I mean? Like it's giving that kind of energy. I do appreciate though that they've painted it. So like the flowers are really pretty and it's it's a gorgeous bag, but for me, just wouldn't work. Price not much more than a regular tabby. You're gonna have all that extra braiding, the beautiful tool work on the shoulder strap. 550, not a bad ask for such a bag. This bag might be the one that I buy before I get my Birkin. So low key, not low key, high key, it is 100% a vibe. This is giving all the Caleb Snell Y2K energy that you could ever dream of in a bag. And it's only priced at $4.95, which after looking at $10,000 Birkins every day, every hour, $4.95 doesn't seem that bad. <laughs> I need to put things back into perspective though. But this is the Sammy Top Handle 21 in the color silver. Yes, this is a silver foil patent leather piece of artwork <laughs> with this shiny silver hardware. Like, oh my God, like I have wanted a Sammy 21 ever since they came out. I was almost smitten enough with the, like that, we, we can't call it Tiffany blue, but it was Tiffany blue. And I was like, you know, this is too close to my blue Jean Kelly. I'm never gonna use it. Like if I had a choice between the two, I will always default to the blue Jean Kelly. But in this mirror silver finish, 
This might be the one that does me and you guys. So 2008 for Coach was a very polarizing year. Kind of deserves to be a video of its in and of itself because the start of 2008 was kind of like the end of like classic Reed Krakoff era Coach as we knew it. So like the legacy lines were coming to an end. Hamptons was kind of coming to an end. Soho was kind of coming to an end. And then for fall winter, they had introduced Madison, which was very, very luxe, very over the top, patent leathers, hair cap, you name it, the price point even shot up quite a bit too for that time period. But they had introduced silver and gold foil metallic Sabrinas. And the Sabrinas, you can't find them. Like, don't even try looking. I could give you the style number, but it's not going to do a bit of difference because they were immediately recalled because this foil leather started peeling, started cracking, like right out the gate. And like, they were all just recalled. There is so little information out there. Like I had to, I had to track down Zane, actually, my husband found the 2008 autumn winter catalog. So I'm going to link the entire catalog down below for you. So you can see like what a time period this was for coach. But like, this is basically the bare, the bare amount of information that you can find that the gold and silver foil of Sabrina's ever existed. They're almost a thousand dollars too. Like they were very pricey for a coach bag back then. So I'm almost wondering if we're going to see the same thing again and I need to buy the Sammy now because we all know that the way that I am with my handbags, like I, I barely use them. I, I, I'm not rough with them. So I would be able to preserve one. But I don't know if this is going to show up on the, on the secondhand market. Like I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little concerned. Hopefully they got the, the silver foil right this time because this bag, you guys, is such a vibe. Top handle, can go crossbody. Perfect size for the lunch table. It's not going to be too big, not too small. You can even hang it off the back of your chair if you wanted. And just imagine this at literally any holiday party. Like, this bag is such a vibe, you guys. Tell me this is not a Caleb Snell bag. Please, please. I don't need to buy another handbag. That was my list for today. Coach has some amazing things coming out. And like I said, even though I'm on my H journey now, like, I will still always have a very fond place in my heart for Coach. It's my number one handbag love. I have a lot of good memories with the brand. I even worked for the brand for, for a small time, but... It's a story for another day. Let me know in the comments, what did you think of this video? Is there anything on this list that you're going to buy? Do I need the silver Sammy? I think I need the silver Sammy, don't I? I should just order it now. I'm going to regret it if I don't. Placing in cart as soon as I'm done filming. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.